there that shows that he's just holding his breath while he's up there. And then I'm going to pet him because this is the most committed he's been to the trailer so far. He's actually staying his shoulders, his head up in there, and he's actually kind of committed, so I'll make it a good place. And then I'll make it an uncomfortable place when he takes himself away. You can see now how that ability to rub him with the stick and string and him getting to where he was accepting of it around his hind legs and not kicking is keeping me a lot more safe. If he wants to come away, we can come away and work. Until the, what we're after is that that trailer starts to have a magnetic draw. He starts to see that trailer as the place to get away from the pressure that I'm causing him. Now I do have to watch that even if he has his head in the trailer, I have to try to be aware of as his head disappears, I need to try to make a guess as to whether he's really committed. Like there he's leaning forward into the trailer, so I know he's whatever his head's doing. I can't see it anymore. But there when his head's up a little bit more, I'm not as sure. So I'm trying to read his body language without necessarily being able to see his eyes. That was big because you could see him lift up his front feet and think about getting in. I'm going to see what happens if I stay a little more persistent. And that hind foot stepped forward when I was tapping. So that's when I chose to release. I'm going to take him away again. My choice. It's important that it's my choice and that it's not part of his choice. This time we're going to work a little bit more out here. He was offering to make my circle bigger. He actually was starting to show that draw towards the trailer. And if he wants to come right back off, I'm OK with that. But the point is that you could start to see that even in his mind, it was very clear that the reward was in the trailer. This is great progress for him for today. And so we might just stop there. But what we would do is we want to eventually build on this fact until he chooses the trailer. I'm willing to let him get right back out. It's not about the trailer. In the end, it's really about that building that relationship. Once you build the relationship, and it's not just all about love and treats, it's also about discipline. It's balancing it out like you want with your children. It's not all spoiling them. It's not all military school. It's somewhere in the middle. And when they start to respect you and understand you, they actually have a higher quality of life because this horse is a lot more quiet now than when we started the training. And that's the sign of a great lesson.